Go last. I'll pull it again. Huh? Second now. Right. I'll pull it again. <laughs> ah! Good. Moreover, we were just talking about that. Would you believe it? <laughs> the, f the, f the 15 minute cities. Um, that's mad. Because, uh, how are you all getting on, folks? Um, okay, Derek McManus, Sean Mack, you're all in there. Yeah, so C40 cities will be the big killer. I don't know what that is now. I'm not in the loop though for that at all, but uh, hey Dublin Braid, Mark C, Tricky Woo, hey Jenny, William Barry, Ragnar. Oh, Tim O'Keefe is there, lads. We'll uh, remove him there. I heard he's, he's up to some dodgy stuff. That fella. Um, well, it's there, Thomas Belfast, Rory Ahern, how are you all doing? Everyone can hear me okay, yeah? Say, all right, how are you? How are you? Um, let me down here. The, uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, 15 minute cities. Um, so you, you've heard about it over in the UK, um, but. Today was the first time I saw, like, official um, um, documents about it in this country. Sent to me by someone, and it was on the Cork City Council um, website, and they were looking for. Um, so, uh, yeah, look. It's not a conspiracy theory anymore, it, you know, even though it's been happening over the UK now with quite a while, it's, it's visible to be seen over the UK, it's, um, it's coming here and, and it's coming quick. And for those that don't know what it is, does everyone think of my Ireland first hat? Huh? Pretty fancy, huh? Um, you will own nothing and be happy, yeah. Um, no, the 15 minute cities, in my limited knowledge of it, and I'm sure some people there will, will jump in with, with, uh, with, um, some, some interesting points. Uh, they basically want you, um, in a position where you don't have to go any further than 15 minutes from your house, um, to to do whatever. So there's the Gardy again. Uh, I'm sure they'd pass us 25 times more um, tonight. But uh, yeah, the 15 minute cities. Um, it's all about control. Yeah, they they don't want you leaving a radius of um, 15 minutes from your house. There'll be um, cameras set up everywhere, facial recognition cameras, um, license plate recognition, and if you step outside of your 15 minute limit, um, you will have to pay. And uh, and um, yeah, it's 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 very very sinister. It's disgusting, and um, look, it's coming. Right, they've had it in China for years. Um, there's the last time I checked, there was something like 400 million facial recognition um, cameras in China. Oh, there's the guards again. Um, um, yeah. So you know, you don't, you don't go anywhere in China. You don't, you know, leave your home or anything um, without the state knowing about it. And yeah, these are the guys here who'll be uh, who'll be giving you a knock on the door when when you're um, you've run out of points, or so to speak. 
Um, so yeah, look, it's all ahead of us, and uh, you know we'll we cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, folks, Dublin Reds said it there. Hit the like button, hit the share button. Share this on your social media, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I think I'm almost at um, seven thousand. Uh, members on this channel, I've nearly 2,000 on my other channel, so that's good, you know, that's uh, that's positive for for country folk, you know, so um, do you know what I actually have here tonight who's going to fill in for me for a while is somebody else on the live stream, so um, I've got a, a girl here with us, she's a, a mixed race racist white supremacist and uh she's going to jump into the the live stream here in a while because she's familiarizing herself with live streaming so um yeah i'm going to switch out here because i want to um speak to the lads here for a few minutes and um yeah i'm just going to leave her familiarize herself but um How's everybody doing anyway? Like, is there any any news? Anything strange? Um, I know uh, Tim O'Keefe has gone now, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, he was about the last strange thing we had around here. But um, anything else going on around the place that that you want to talk about? Oh, six point nine nine thousand subscriptions. Derek McMahon, so yeah. What's that? I, yeah, I just need 10 more uh, subscriptions tonight and uh, we'll be good. Black St. Patrick's Day in Belfast tomorrow. Look, I think it's going, it's going to be the same everywhere, you know? Um, so look, we'll, uh, we'll crack on anyway. They're coming to Kells in County Mead. Do you know, there's a few good people up there who are keeping an eye on that. And, um, yeah, I've got, I've had a lot of emails and messages about, um, about Kells lately. A guy caught flashing in the shopping centre in Dublin the other day. I saw it. I know the man who, who caught him, um, Anto Boyle. Um, yeah, he, 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 uh, he had a hold of him. But apparently the same guy was had sexually assaulted somebody else um not too long before that and uh yeah but this is you know the type of riffraff that we're bringing into the country Monyan, thanks very much i'm not i'm not that great i'm actually not that great um i'm just not i'm not intimidated by uh by the nonsense that's going on and by the bullies that are doing it so um you know i'm just holding my own the charges will get dropped on the quiet uh, are you talking about the my charges or uh or what yeah if you're talking about mine they probably will yeah i'm up again now uh, next month for the fourth time the fourth time for um for stealing a free t-shirt that maybe the guardie deemed to be worth four euro so um it's it's uh look you know they can make up these uh you know they can make this nonsense up for the likes of me and the likes of you but this wouldn't apply if you were uh a special category you know yeah yeah well it should be free for the indigenous um so yeah there we go pm tonight rumble full english show okay yeah I, i'll try to have a look there yeah, it's getting kind of close now but you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch over here to my other um live streamer for a few minutes folks um see how she gets on be nice to her Right, throw out a few a few topics if she gets stuck for things to talk about 
Um, throw out a few topics to keep our um, to keep our yapping, um, and uh, we'll see how she gets on for a few minutes, and I'll be back again shortly. Okay? Come on down here, you. Yeah. I'm coming. Hello. This is Elaine here. Right? She she's a loyalist. She's loyal to Ireland first. <laughs> she follows us everywhere, and uh, she's always out with us. And she's going to be live streaming soon. And uh, keep her yapping. Look, so look, these are all your your um all your viewers. All right, so they'll send you out messages there. And uh, just keep talking. Just talk keep about talk. whatever you want. Talk about whatever you want. Okay, I don't know what so to that's say. That's your microphone. <laughs> right, don't keep it too close to your mouth because it's it's powerful. Yeah, no worries. But just just chat away. Chat about whatever you want. I don't know what to say. Whatever you want. You can talk about whatever you like. What whatever you, you like. Talk about. Start. What you wanted to talk about, folks? What will I talk about? Yeah, what did she talk about first? Um, watch out for trolls. Yeah, do watch out for trolls. If you see any messers throwing. Um, do you want to say hello? That's Adlin, my small one. Do you want to say hi? They're all out for Paddy's Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so look, there's all your messages coming in here now. All saying hello. What are you? Computer says no. <laughs> okay, so look, talk about whatever you want. Talk about the weather. The weather. Don't fucking piss me. Yes. I need a drink. I don't have one. Okay for this. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Does anybody want to talk with me? Anybody want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> hey everybody, we're here again this evening, and we'll be here again next Thursday as well. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Yeah, all the races. Yeah. 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 We'll be here every Thursday. <laughs> anybody else want to say hello? We'll go around and say hello to everybody. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? We're going to say hi to everybody. Hello. Oh, <laughs> please, everybody. Um, wake people up. It's really important. Yeah, it's time to wake people up. We don't know what's up, going like. on. <laughs> and, and we're getting into dangerous times. So, um, yeah, wake people up. Don't stay quiet. Really important. Well done, you. Thank you. By the way, well done, you. Any of you want to say hello? Of course. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> God bless you, everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Do you want to show your sign? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, that's. <laughs> from a foreigner who cares about you all. Look at that. Yeah, mate. look at that. Foreigners. Yeah. Fight for the Irish. Stand with them. No to the fake UGs. Yes to the Irish. That's the only way to do it. Only way to do it. <laughs> As it should be. Seriously. We were all just the talking there. <laughs> we were just talking there, actually, about. The Pakistani guy right, that I met yesterday, that was gas. and like, you they know, they all know they're, they're they're taking the piss out of us, like they really do. Like. Yeah, and he was legit. He he was actually he's here on a skilled a skilled Training. worker, yeah, a skilled worker visa. So you know his skills are needed apparently. Um, but but he knew all the scams that the rest of them pulled. Yeah. Shoot, shoot bullets at your house. Yeah. Take pictures, and over there you could put an ad on the newspaper for three euro. Bring the newspaper with you. There's your asylum. Oh, I application. just saw a comment there. Actually, what's the plans for tomorrow? Everybody go to Dublin outside the four courts at eleven o'clock. Um, Andy Heesman is doing something about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I put it up on the stand up for my page. Yeah. 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 So eleven o'clock outside the four courts in Dublin. Yeah, and he's doing great work. And he's a He's trooper. amazing, yeah. Like he's been here since the beginning. And uh, you know, there's no mess with Andy. So uh yeah. yeah. Good camera work in I'm trying my best anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll take it off again in a few minutes. Yeah, no worries, we'll go around and say hello yeah. some more. Anybody else wanna say hello? We're going around saying hello to everybody. Gonna say hi. There's the Waterford lads. Up oh, anyway. Every Thursday they're here. Yeah. Every right. fucking Thursday. <laughs> I should have heard. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> and Perfect. there's my mom. Hello. <laughs> she likes speaking. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Well, we know. So we say hello to everybody. I don't know what to say. <laughs> hey, you're all. Very nice. Very, very um, do you want to talk with me? Oh, yeah, sure. Do you want to say something? Hello, lads. Yeah. <laughs> so, just to give it back off, I'm actually not native Irish. Where are you I'm from? Under, I'm from Germany. So and why are you here? I'm here because I study and I work here. I study physics and I work at the moment as an engineer. And I've lived here for two years. Came in with my passport. I didn't tear it apart like these fucking freeloaders <laughs> did. And uh, 
made my work here very well and I just found out from all of Ireland first and Derek since last autumn and Derek is doing a good job. Like he's really one of those people who really does a great job for your people, exposing just the fake UGs and generally people who want to take advantage of this yeah. country. And I've met now so many people homeless that are native in Waterford, it's in Dublin, in Wexford, yeah. where I'm often and helping them as much as I can with my own budget, but then seeing the government just completely neglecting them is just fucking bullshit. Sad, I mean, and I've seen, yeah, it is. And in Germany, I've seen it as well. And I just don't want this to happen in Ireland because Germany's already lost with it. And I just want Ireland to recover from it and just see oh, if we will to get recover. better. We'll keep oh, yeah. fighting. We'll I keep know. Fighting. And you will have free foreigners like me as well to yeah. keep up the fight on that. I'm a foreigner too. Yeah. I'm born in the States. <laughs> oh, you're born in the States. Wait, which yeah. state are you from again? I, I was born in Cuba. Cuba? Yeah. Oh, My wait. dad was in the Navy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thanks to your dad for his service then, I guess. Thank so. you. <laughs> so, wait, which state in America did you live then in? Uh, Ohio before we moved to Ohio. Ah, yeah. Ohio. Okay. So and when did you move to Ireland? Uh, 25 years ago. <laughs> okay. And what was so the reason you moved to Ireland? My man brought us home. Ah, oh, okay. That's how we're here. <laughs> yeah, just like I brought my wife a year ago as well here. Oh, so, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Class. Yeah, yeah. See? We're all Irish at heart. Like, yeah, at heart, It's in yeah. our blood. So for blood. all the foreigners who want to come and join us, I implore you, Every go Thursday with us. Six. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Seriously, we need yeah. to stand with the Irish, help them, because they gave us this opportunity and we need to thank them for that yeah. and help them out. Very simple, very simple. Very simple. Thank you. No, no worries. Do you want to, you want to take this back now? Yeah. No um, matter. Yeah. Thank you for letting me talk. All right, folks. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, Text me the postcode no, and, and I'll drop in some I'm day and I'll have a look at it. I can't guarantee I'll fix it, but I, I'll look at it. Yeah, I'll yeah. see what it is. Someday. Not a bottle. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't leave. How are you getting on? Well, it's live streaming. Who knows? So. Who was? The bank said, right. Okay. Yeah. Giving a description to the two guards. Oh. It was probably about the night before. It could have been something totally different. Yeah. Two blacks on it as well. Oh. Quite surprised. No. I don't know. Oh, hey. Hey. Tell you to Uh, very good. Oh, yeah? Very good. Yeah, good. Yeah. It'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it'll be out tomorrow. It'll be out tomorrow. Okay. Sorry. Brilliant. 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 Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. No, it was a short clip, like, but it was... It, Brilliant. It, it, it's an hour long. But, really. Everyone's going to freak out when they see this. And where will it be? It'll be on Rumble, but I'm going to be shared yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'll send it. I'll send you the link tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I want to play. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we had more um, we had more antics here and from my how long ago was that? Last weekend. What was it? Uh, the, was weekend, the weekend yeah. just gone? Yeah, was the weekend night. before that? Weekend before that. Sorry. Yeah. Friday night. It was the weekend before that. Yeah. Friday. What happened? One one of the, one of my friends. She's actually a good friend of mine. She was spiked. Well, her her and her friend were spiked inside in the bar inside in town. And yeah. then they went from there to the nightclub and some coloured man tried to grab one of the girls and drag her out the door. Now this is not lies and we're being ridiculed online over this saying that we're spreading misinformation and disinformation. It's true, it happened and it's going to happen again unless people get out and make a stand. Yeah, I actually, I actually spoke to... I won't say who but I spoke to someone close. We're getting filmed there, I don't know who this, uh, who this fan down here is. But um, we spoke to someone close to the family and the two girls were, were in one pub and uh, they, some, some foreign, some African dude was hanging around their drinks. Um, they left the pub and they said the minute they walked outside, they lost all their memory. Um, they went over to another bar and the same African dude dudes, there's three of them there um, followed them over and was hanging around them like in the other bar and uh, they tried to drag one of them out the door and um, you know, off 
off somewhere. Um, this is in Formoy, you know, remember during the week, right, there was a girl up in court here, right, she was attacked by a Moldovan in, um, stay strong, Mississauga, Canada. Happy days. I used to, I used to live in Edmonton, so, um, she was attacked, beaten, almost raped, only for a quick wit, right, of two local lads that heard it happen. There's been four, four sexual assault slash rapes in Formoy in recent times, and all of them have been foreign nationals. And that Moldovan, he had raped a 14-year-old girl eight, just before he had came to Ireland. He'd served, he got three years or something, and eight weeks later, he was on a, pl on a plane and, and over to Ireland doing the exact same thing again. It's disgraceful. So this will tell you, you know, all they have to do, all they would have to do, right, is do a search of their names. Search their names with Interpol. That's it. Search their names and you're going to see, this man is dangerous. He's served time for rape. No, they can't even do that. Lauren Spencer in Dublin was raped right, by a Roma gypsy who was wanted for other rapes in other European countries. All they have to do is search their name and you're going to see it. Or it doesn't arrest warrant out for them. Simple. They're not interested. They're not interested. And that'll tell you that they're not interested in protecting Irish women. And that Irish woman certainly wasn't interested in protecting herself because she nearly ran out in front of a lorry there. What happened, That's what happened, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so look, um, the case here in Formoy, it was, it was reported uh, to the Gardaí. Um, the guards told them, I believe, that they can't pursue it because the girls can't remember what happened. So, you know, it's kind of like the perfect storm because whatever shit these lads are throwing into your drinks, Right, are making you black out and you're losing your memory. You're then being raped and you can't even make a complaint to the guards because your memory's gone. You know? Um, it would have been on CCTV of the guy and might I add, the same guy who tried to the same guy who met them like in the pub that they were spiking. And the same guy who followed them over to the club, he then added one of the girls on Facebook a few days later. She saw him on a bus going up to the city. And, uh, um, you know, so... And he's living right across from the nightclub as well. You know where he lives. And he's apparently living in town as well, so... Um, you know, this it's happening here. It's happening in Dungarvan. Um, Mallow, it happened in Mallow as well. Um, so look, you know, and and you have to wonder then why um, men, right, are teaming up in their communities and starting to do um, street patrols and pub patrols, you know? Um, because it's it's a it's a it's a like it's a natural reaction to what's happening. If the Gardaí, who look in my opinion, are you know not much good for anything except um, you know wasting money and uh, um, harassing, peaceful harassing peaceful protesters, yeah, and um, making up false charges. Um, if they can't protect the women of Ireland, then the men of Ireland are going to do it, you know? And that's what you're going to see happening more and more and more. So, uh, look, I said it the other day that you're, you're going to have uh, street patrols in Mallow soon. The street patrols happening in Dungarvan. The street patrols happening in, um, in Formoy. And they're probably they're probably just about to start in Mallow. So and I'm sure are happening in other um, parts of the country that that we don't know about. But you know we don't hear about everything. 
Um, some people right, have been on to me about Dungarvan as well, and uh, they said they said, "Oh, you know, because a girl was arrested in Dungarvan." Um, you know what? Alright, I'm not going to get into it too much, but don't uh, don't rule anything out, okay? I'm um, there's a lot more to that story right, than people are hearing, and there's some surprises coming, shall we say, right about Dungarvan. So. Uh, so uh you know yeah the girl yeah there was a girl arrested yeah there was yeah look you know what all right i'm not going to get into it too much because i don't want on a live stream there's some things happening right in the background now and uh it's um yeah peace yeah so we'll uh We'll change the subject, but we'll we'll come back to that subject for right, another day. So, yeah, but um, I finished work now today at half past three. I'd not a choice, right? So that's why right, I'm dressed in my civvies here. Usually on a Thursday, right? I'm here in my work clothes, but I was literally the last man off the building site today. They had to kick me off. Uh, because I was trying to stay until about five, right? But because of the day that's in it tomorrow, um, they uh, they wanted to shut down early, so I left them with home, had my dinner and everything, showered, so I'm here now, clean and fresh, yeah. So, but uh, what is everyone doing tomorrow? What what's the hey hey peace? You're from Cork, fair play. So am I. If you can't tell, um, what is everyone doing uh, tomorrow, lads? Just throw it out there in the uh, in the messages. Leanne Curtis, hopefully see you where. Hey, a Grim Reaper from Leitrim. I'd love a cup of tea, no? I'd love a cup of tea, no? Going to Dublin, Jerome Reedy. Good man. Linda Foley's boycotting the parade. I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, staying away from parades. Hey, Anita, how are you, girl? Howdy. Throw me really some killer, all good stuff. Off grid Ireland is drinking all day. Although, you know what? I was talking to the great Mike Connell uh, today, right? I rang him about. Oh, what time was it? It was. Or it was. It was early in the afternoon. Anyway, it was. It was rudely early in the afternoon. And he was drinking already. He was he was on his second can already, you know. So, but fair play to him. He's uh, yeah. But you know what I said to him, and I think it's true. I think he actually gets smarter the more he drinks, because uh, you know we got into like a deep conversation about stuff as we do, and uh, he, he's he can you know he can hold his own with me. Not a, no problem at all to him. Drink or no drink, you know. So, and he was drinking today, and he was well able to go. Um, yeah, from Ross Common, Dublin Red, Stuart MacDonald. Ah, you got a, look, you got a Union Jack. Fair enough, you know, you can wait for St. George's Day. Yeah, it's Paddy's Day tomorrow, all right? Yeah, so that's the most important thing. Um, so, um... Yeah. You want to do a bit of a live stream now for a while? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to people. Yeah. yeah. Folks, are you going to yeah. want a camera on you or facing? Uh, facing them. Facing them. Right. Yeah. Hi, right, folks. My other man here is going to... He's going to hold the camera for a while and I'm going to do some talking. We're not doing speeches tonight because it's, it's raining. The equipment will get wet. And... Uh, we're just gonna have a chat here for a while, but uh, but um, yeah. So what's the story?
Oh, you? Oh, you? What are you doing for Paddy's Day tomorrow? He's going to Daddy's. Are you really? Yeah. Ah, he's in McCombs, is he? Yeah. He's in Michigan. Um, oh, he's in Michigan. Oh, he's in Michigan. Oh, he lives in Michigan. Oh, how long? Two years. Uh, it's 2020. He wants to Toronto. I plan to stay here, so I'm not going back to Germany. And I'm sure as hell I'm not going to the US. Making sure that this country is We have kids here as well this evening. Say hi, Adeline. Say hello. She's shy. Adeline's shy. Yeah. Um, it's wet and miserable here this evening in Southern Fomoy, but we're still here doing what we do. We'll be here every Thursday after. I'll put it out publicly. We don't want any violence. We don't want any. Um, yeah, we're talking about the the next. The next one in car. Park says no rally. When is that? Do we have a plan? We haven't set a date yet, but we're we're talking about dates, and we we're going to appeal to the lefties. We don't want any more violence. Right? We brought our kids last time. Grandparents were were there. There was families. We came for a peaceful day, and the, yeah, the people that we brought weren't there for a peaceful day. Right, so we're gonna politely ask that the next time we do it, right, can you not come right, with violence on your mind, please? Um, Come to protest all you want, but look. Yeah, and the guards might hold the line as well. Yeah. Yeah. Actually hold the line. Not up. advanced towards. Yeah. Advanced towards us, yeah. That's the other thing right, that I want to bring out. I have been in touch with Anglesey Street Garda Station, and I've asked. Right, no, they don't seem to be too inclined. Right, in getting back to me, okay? But if anybody that was watching that live stream on the day knows. Who the most senior Garda there was? I would really appreciate. Get in contact. With pardon me. Send me a message. Derek at Ireland hyphen first. That I. Uh, the most the most senior Garda who was there on the day. I will find out eventually. But who, who was it told to guards? Uh, who was it told to guards to advance? Him. Whoever the most senior guard was. Was it not? Um, was no, 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 no. We, I put out a video, all right, and we thought, we thought that Mick Barry and Mick Nugent, oh, right, right. yeah, no, no, on, um, on closer analysis afterwards, that was taken after the advance. All oh, right. Yeah, right. I never said this. Yeah, no one said it, but it looked yeah. like it in the video. It, it, yeah, yeah, it did look like it. Yeah. But we looked at it afterwards. It was so right. yeah. But no, they, they advanced first and then they had their little So they had a plan, then there was guards on top of the rooftops as well across the way looking down. Yeah, because that's yeah. who got the picture. Yeah, that's where they were taking pictures. Yeah. So, that's where they were taking pictures, So yeah. those businesses gave permission permission for left-wing media to, to get on the roof and take pictures of And us. there wasn't yeah. much difference in the size groups between no. both groups? No, between there, was, and right there was not. I reckon we had a few more. Yeah. But, that was, <laughs> but that was the beauty about... Um, that day, it exposed so much. Yeah. It exposed right, the volatility of the left crowd that were there, the, vo right, the violent um, um, tendencies they have, and also Mick. Um, you know, Mick Barry said that the crowd was five to one overrepresented on their side. Well, no, it was not. And, and the photo showed that. Or the yeah. photo showed that. And like when he came on to Neil Prendeville um, on Monday morning and um, he had his little spiel there for 20 minutes and Neil thought this will be great though no, we'll have a we'll have a um, a shit talk every day <laughs> here for about three hours every single caller right, was in support yeah. of what yeah the yeah. narrative that, that we were pushing yeah. so Mick Barry you you get for that event you get a big fat langer <laughs> so, 
Oh, Mark, you've been on as a langer, boy. You are known as a langer. No, he's actually American. Who is? He's American, yeah. yeah he's, he's from Ohio. <laughs> he, he's from Ohio. You know? So this is more, this is more, uh, this is more, and you're American. I'm American. But you're not, you're not, you're not coming here screaming for more foreigners, yeah? No. no. Get the fucking rid of him. Yeah. Mick Barry, Mick Barry's coming over here as a foreigner. And he's and demanding, more. demanding more yeah. foreigners. And then he also wants to fix the housing crisis somewhere, but he wants to bring more people and put them in the houses, but also fix the housing crisis. However that works, I don't really get it. He must, be, he must be a magician. Mick <laughs> must have one of these. Magical. Yeah, wand, like yeah. a magic wand or just an enormous brain, <laughs> which I doubt very much. Yeah. Uh, but look. You can see that from his content. You could see it actually when Rosler Hive uh, confronted him. Yeah. All he, he could do was just louder. I speak louder. I speak louder. And yeah. the bodyguards Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they were sorry of the bodyguards. Oh, they were, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but there was eggs and stuff being thrown as well that day, wasn't there? From? There was, yeah, there was yeah, eggs. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder eggs, what would happen if we eat on eggs. We would have arrested. It'd be done for us all. The way yeah. you see it is all they've done to show us that we're actually on the right track. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing what we're doing, we're waiting. We're already yeah. winning. Yeah. So we are. We just we keep are. pushing. Just keep yeah. pushing. Yeah. Just need numbers. Yeah. So people need to get off this live stream and come out and support us. Yeah, right, when the weather gets better now and people start seeing the yeah. crowds of people out in the streets, I'm they'll sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see when a lot of white people seeing, out. When they start seeing yeah. gangs of Algerians out in the streets yeah. grabbing their daughters. Exactly. And, and stuff, and you know. They start to wake. Yeah. Won't they? Unfortunately. Shame, yeah. And it's nearly happened already this weekend and last yeah. two weeks ago inside in Fromoy. Yeah, yeah so back in Fromoy again. In Fromoy again. Fromoy again, yeah. Fromoy's yeah. in the limelight yet again. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. But lads, what I was saying was, one second now, also, what I was saying was, we should, or not we, like, I'm not going to get involved in it because, <laughs> because it'll tarnish it, but, but if we could create um, a type of an NGO or an organization, um, an oversight body to, to, um, create some guidelines for these street patrols that are going to be happening all over the country. Yeah. Um, if we could get them all right under one banner and, you know, just have a set of guidelines for you to follow. Like, for instance, um, the guys that are doing street patrols on a night, no drinking, you know, we don't really want to be... You know, drinking. You don't want to be associated like thugs. It's just no, protecting no. your community. No, we're out doing a job You're protecting our women and children. Yeah. It's simple yeah. as that. And it's just a matter of, like. it's just a matter of, you know, going to the bars and the pubs right, in your area and um, the bars and the pubs that are um, more popular for spikings right, and sexual assaults. It's mad to see it. We're in Ireland. Right, and there's no pubs. Right, there's one pub in Fomoy that's notorious for sexual assaults and spikings. But you know, there's pubs like this all over the country. So you know, what you're doing is you're going there as a group of men or women, and you're just having a walk around, and you're keeping an eye on. There could be some dodgy looking characters in there, like the person that we spoke to here and out um, a few days ago. They told us that the lads. Who they believe spiked yeah. the girls weren't drinking and they were just walking just around, walking around just walking the, around yeah. just looking seeing who's the drunkest yeah seeing who's the drunkest yeah you know or so easy break. yeah so what you're doing is you're going in and you're keeping an eye on these guys because because the rest of the lads in there right are pissed out of their minds yeah right and they can't coherently um monitor <laughs> this you know so it's down to the the dads, and, yeah, and the and the mams, the mothers and the fathers of Ireland, right, to we keep their to streets, their yeah, to keep their streets safe. Yeah. Right, another thing, if you see if you see an altercation, if you see a scrap happening, stay out of it. Yeah, but that's nothing to do with you. You're there just to keep, you know, mainly women, lads, maybe, from getting spiked, from getting 
sexually assaulted. If you if you see somebody bragging some person out of a pub, some person that doesn't have their full faculties, yeah, stand up and stand up, protect them. go tell the bouncer, yeah. get the bouncers. You know, we don't want to be getting involved because the Gardaí would love to arrest one of us. Well, the, the, the Gardaí are saying that they can't really do nothing because technically there's no crime, crime committed. Yeah, you see, to say, some, yeah, to say something like that, to say something like that, but what they're saying is so, is that, you know, her trousers nearly need to be off, right down in the ditch. And, right, at what point, right, can the Gardaí intervene? You know, after the, after the rape happens. And the girl's life is ruined. Yeah, you know, that's not good enough. You know, that's not good enough for me. And it's not good enough, I'm sure, for tens of thousands of people around this country. So, no, no. They're there to protect and serve. Yeah. Not to be bought off. Yeah. So, uh, look, you know, it's, as I said, if these things are going to start becoming more popular as time goes on, um, the government is doing what it's doing. Um, Deliberately. Yeah, deliberately. (laughs) Right, they know what's happening. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's down to uh, the men and the women of Ireland to uh, uh, jump in and, and show, people. yeah, we the people and we show the them how it's done. And we've yeah. actually started this ourselves last week in Siding from Wife Friday night and Saturday night. There's four or five lads going out yeah. just keeping an eye on girls and stuff like that, yeah, and, you know, just making sure everybody's safe. Yeah. And I don't understand why the guards don't have under the under, undercover detectives inside in the bars anyway. Coffee donuts, yeah, coffee donuts, <laughs> yeah. you know. Because you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, there's, pro- there's probably several boxes arriving at the station every hour, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm just joking, Garrett, so... <laughs> you, know, you don't have to raid my house again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any donuts at my house. He didn't take any t-shirt this time either. <laughs> um, right, but another thing I'd say is, have your phones. Have your Record phones on the ready. Yeah. Right. Start recording everything. When the guards approach you, and they will, like record the guards as well yeah. because you know they're going to be trying uh, to yes. stitch people up so have your phones on the ready as i said before you don't have to stick it in his face um you just have to have it and record the audio ask him his name and don't allow them uh, to stitch you up and ask them are they working under the road Find out if they're actually working under the road. Because if they say no, then that means they're whatever they're doing is illegal. Because they have to work under their road to be a guardian. They have to actually say they're under their road. I don't know anything about that. No, so I, do I don't. I'm not. I'm not up on any of that stuff. Now all I know is, if they're trying, you know, if they're trying anything dodgy, record them. Yeah. Okay. And post them on the internet. Simple as that. And you, you have every right to record them, okay? Um, yeah. So if if uh, if you know the left wing media can walk around and take pictures of us on the streets, right, then you can record a public servant. Yeah. Any time he's public. So you know, do it. As right as Philip Dwyer says, the most powerful weapon you have is inside your pocket your phone yeah. got a camera on it and you know this is an information war um gather the information with your phone and make it public and you know the biggest threat to the state no the scrutiny yeah. and when you scrutinize them and when you present evidence of them being a corrupt shower of gum beans um you know they don't know how to handle it um, so look, but yeah, back to the other point. I'll just, I'll just reiterate it. If anybody knows the name of the most senior Garda that was at the Cork says no on the 4th of March, there's footage online, there's several, there's multiple different pictures of different guards. If you could contact me, I'm Derek at Ireland hyphen force.ie. Because I've got some questions to ask him. So, yeah. Yeah, we're all going to talk to some of these lads here. What's the fact, lads? I was moving around here. Yeah. Big camera show you, lads. Yeah. What's the story? 
Any, any, any crack, no? All point at the moment. All point, yeah. yeah. No news is good news, as the fella says, Sean, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll go over and talk to Sean, yeah. Oh, Sean, things only on the the woods. That's all. Quite enough at the moment. Is that? Yeah. Keep in mind, never yeah. watching out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can do, have, you been out, have you been out since below Waterford? Uh, uh, no, no, not since now. Since, uh, we'll have to try to organise the day down below. Yeah, Waterford yeah. needs to be mobilised yeah. and beyond said. A little bit sleepy yeah. at the moment, people aren't aware of what's happening. Well, Liz Moore got a bit of a, got a bad old doing, didn't it? They you did know, really, they, yeah. They, they acquiesced the first time round and they said, oh sure, you know, refugees welcome. I know they're getting even more, are they? Yeah, they were sold a bit of a pig, I think, really, were yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, sold yeah. Sold a pig or a puff or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> what, what, what's the update there? Uh, I haven't heard that none since now, but I know there's a lot of people not happy down there. Yeah. They were sold as one thing and it's something completely different, like, you know yeah. what I mean? There's apparently, uh, there's supposed to be a tavern yeah. down there. Is it a tavern or a, 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 an old restaurant, maybe? There's one Chinese restaurant. It's called, yeah, there's a Chinese restaurant, or right. a Thai restaurant, he's right. been done up, and there's another, a tavern, is also beat. this is just here saying at the moment, right, but apparently they're getting them as well. I was outside the, uh, uh, the, the hotel, what's it called? Uh, is it the Lismore Arms? The, no, no the, sorry, Lismore. Lismore Hotel. Lis, the Lismore Hotel. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was outside there the other day, and listen, there wasn't a Ukrainian to be seen. Like, it was all that was going in and out of there was Africans. It was all Africans, you know? Um, kind so, of proof that's the day we were there, really, doesn't that? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. Look, yeah. you know? So, you know, they can say, you know, Ukrainian this, Ukrainian that, um, you know, Ukrainian women and children, that spiel has been blown wide open now. Um, there's, there's probably more Ukrainian men showing up, and then again, there's probably more non-Ukrainians showing up on top of that, because there's Georgians, there's Albanians, there's, you know, so I don't... really safe to say, kind of have a hard job to find the Ukrainian, really, among them. Yeah, you, you would, the yeah. There as well, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you would know at this stage, you know? Yeah. And there's no more news about Tallow. Is there the modular homes that were going to Tallow across from the primary school next I to the funeral home? I haven't heard much and noise. They were testing the ground down there as well. Is what they're doing is they're trying to test the people. To see what they're going to react. Saying, and then yeah. they'll say, all right, it's not a good reaction. The yeah, ground's not yeah, good. Yeah, Let's yeah, get over yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same, same crack in Mallow. Mallow, Mallow yeah. Mallow wasn't happening. So they were like, great. The ground's not suitable. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, look, it's it's Mallow was a great result. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still smiling over Mallow, it was great. Especially for their small numbers, like, was they, it, what, what was the, 9 or 10 maybe, Max? 12 maybe on a good uh, day, but they were just, they were, they were hardy, yeah. they never, they never stopped, they didn't give them an inch, and they, and they kept it going all day, every day, and they were out the morning early, and they were home in the evening, and they didn't get a whole lot of, support locally but you know people were kind of quietly supportive In the but didn't want to be seen you know um so look just goes to prove what a good few strong people can do you know what i mean you you can you can, you can be done strong it can be Most done important, yeah. Like, yeah and you has know to be done yeah it has to be done simple as that these politicians the worst fear are strong communities yeah Right, and that's why they want us divided. They want us divided into small little groups um, so that uh, we won't be able to agree on anything and then they can do whatever they want. Um, but look, you know, Mallow was, was a great example right, of how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Mallow. Fair play, Mallow. Yeah. yeah. Some hard knocks back in Mallow. Yeah. We'll do that there, so. <laughs> right. All right, folks. Hey, listen. Um, we're going to knock it on the head for tonight because um, it's a uh, handy rain here, and um, we're going to um, we're going to head back to our houses here. Like everyone's excited now for uh, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. 
So, um, thanks very much for joining in. Um, remember the message I pulled out about that car If anyone knows anything, send it on to me. Um, um, yeah, and uh, I can do a bit of, a bit of digging for myself too. Um, keep your eyes open on my on my channel. I've got some I've got some interesting stuff all happening at the same time, and uh, um, yeah, there's going to be there's going to be some fairly major uh, content right, coming out in the next few days to a week so um yeah and, and watch out as well for um the new documentary plantation to rise of the celts it's coming out tomorrow and it's like from what i'm hearing it's um it's very good so there's going to be some some um very upset at politicians and uh, you know public servants um, when, when, when they hear about what was put out in that so um, yeah like share and uh, and subscribe I think I should have have I got my 7,000 yet hey, hey I got it I'm up to 7,000 happy days that's great news, thanks. thanks very much for that. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, and I, all, I also want to say um, thanks very much right, for all the support um, that I get from people. Um, it really means a lot and it makes this easier uh, to do. Um, I'm never going to stop doing it, um, but you know, the financial help really does. I don't, yeah, um, I've got some links, um, I will, if you, if you, if you do a search for my, uh, give, send, go, you can throw a few quid there, um, I've got the links put, you know what, I should put the links up somewhere more accessible, um, mm, leave it with me and I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, organize something where they are up maybe i'll put them on the website maybe i'll put them on um with the ireland first website and they're there then and, and anyone that wants to uh, chip in can uh, chip in but uh um, yeah look i appreciate it you know even if it's two euro or fiver it all helps because you know i get a fiver from from you right that goes in my tank and it helps with whatever our equipment and you saw the you saw the at the tug there last week. He broke my phone, you know, with his his violence and all that. So so yeah, um, folks, yeah, and I've also got some new video equipment. I've got a young man here who's going to help me with it. Um, I hope he's still here. Who's going to help me to organise it um, soon? So it's a GoPro, and the picture is going to be fantastic. But I I need help syncing the GoPro uh, to my phone so I can stream. So I have a young man here who might know about it, but if anyone is clued up on on using GoPros with phones, like hooking them up via Bluetooth. I do have a body camera, Fiona. I have one. So, yeah, a little heads up there to the Gary. Yeah. Well, you could be getting recorded anywhere by me. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, listen, I'm going to sign out here, folks, and I'll talk to you all soon. Next Thursday night again, half past six. We'll see you all back here, okay? Um, thanks very much, and we'll talk to you soon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, Joe. I'll talk to you soon, buddy.